Reduction clitoroplasty. 45-year-old patient. Since the age of 20, the patient presented clitoral enlargement. Medical history shows three cesarean sections and a labioplasty at 25. In this photograph, you can see enlargement on the clitoris and the clitoral hood. The hormonal lab results show normal pelvic and renal ultrasound also karyotype. Excluding all pathologies, the conclusion is a idiopathic clitoral megaly. We begin performing the surgery with infiltration of clean solution to decrease bleeding. We utilize fixation stitching on the gland of the clitoris to mobilize. Semilunar incision is done dorsally. We decide to use the Fuertes Lanzuela technique with some modifications as the preservation of the suspensory ligament and dorsal artery of the clitoris. This approach respects the ventral area and this area is very innervated. The section is performed in the dorsal part of the clitoris without cutting the suspensory ligament or burke fascia till the fascia of the pubis. Body length of the clitoris is approximately 4 cm. Stitch is placed with proline, non-absorbable material, 4-0 from the pubic fascia to the burked fascia for application. Repeat this procedure to fascia until completing 5 stitches. In a clock plane, the stitches would be located at 10, 11, 12, 1, and 2 o'clock. It's important to mention to try to avoid dip stitching so the neurovascular bundle isn't affected. We try to avoid a sharp angulation of the clitoral body for a good range of motion during erection. There was a 2 cm reduction compared to the original measure. Once the pexia of the clitoris is done, we proceed to the resection of the excess clitoral hood. We mark and cut. The clitoral proposcial is joined with separate stitches with monochrome 30, meticulously trying to preserve the harmony in the anatomical structures of a normal vulva.
we can observe that the gland isn't totally exposed, in that matter avoiding a possible hypersensitivity by external factors. The surgical procedure is terminated and we continue by applying a platelet-rich plasma since this is high quantity of epidermic growth factors that helps us obtain a better scarring. As a result, we can observe that the excess clitoris is no longer viewable. Two years after continuous checkups, the patient is able to have pleasurable intercourse. <laughs>